Good morning, and thank you, Fadi, for setting the bar really high. <laughs> um, all right. Yes. Okay. It is my firm belief that I have that that I have a link with the past and a responsibility to the future. I cannot give up. I cannot despair. There is a whole future, generations to come. I have to keep trying. King Hussein bin Talal. We love what we do and that's why we do it. We connect generations in ways that youth and senior citizens can build purposeful, rewarding, and remarkable lives. By linking those generations through a variety of meaningful mentorship programs around Jordan. Why? Because we're crazy enough to believe that we can be the change by spreading the message of our great cause. My name is Ala Mufleh, a passionate Middle Eastern social entrepreneur. And just so you can remember me later on, because I know you meet hundreds of people every day, I will be Jordan's first female prime minister, inshallah. As you can see on the screen, my grandfather, uh, Abdullah, may his soul rest in peace, was the greatest grandfather of all times. He served for 15 years in Palestine, back when the East Bank, before the East Bank was separated from the West Bank. So you can only imagine the number of stories he had about his time there. The faces, the places, his adventures, and the memories. Especially Nablus and Ramallah. And I know we're lucky enough today to have so many people from Ramallah. As I grew up, I got used to listening to my grandfather's stories as long with, along with my older sister, Dua, and my younger brother, Mustafa. I still remember my grandfather's stories, and I still remember every time my parents wanted to go out how I would get excited, uh, not, the, not at the thought that I would get the chance to basically throw any wild parties for my fellow third graders, but because, well, I would get the chance to listen to yet another story of my grandfather's. It feels just like yesterday when I used to sit on that, on the floor in that old living room at my grandparents' house, listening to my grandfather, just watching his hand gestures and how his eyes used to sparkle whenever someone asked him for one more story. The passion he had for his stories and for his time there amazed me, just like it amazed everyone else. Today, whenever my grandfather's name is mentioned, people smile and remember his stories. It was because of my grandfather, Abdullah, that I was lucky enough to realize early on in my life that nothing great in the world has ever been accomplished or can ever be accomplished without passion. Growing up, I realized that I was lucky indeed to have someone as inspiring as my grandfather to mentor and inspire me on all kinds of things. Being my role model, I often bring him and his stories up a lot. And people always wonder. They wonder because they've never had the chance to experience having someone as inspiring in their lives. I wanted them to feel the beauty of having someone as inspiring. I wanted them to feel, I wanted them to learn that the oldest trees often bear the sweetest fruit. And this is how we were inspired to start Abshir. Yes. Abshir is basically our NGO. Abshir is a Bedouin word that means you got it. You got it. Um, the, the, the need to bridge the increasingly growing gap between the youth and the older generation in the Jordanian society was, no, was noticed. So my team and I saw the necessity to, 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 to establish a program that fosters a commitment to youth and older citizens in the Jordanian community, especially those residing in nursing homes around the kingdom. Jordan, Jordan currently has more than 13 nursing, house, nursing homes associated directly with the Ministry of Social Development. Since all programs usually focus on Amman, we try our best to focus on areas other than Amman. This picture shows the place that I was raised in, Al Salt. It's located half an hour away from Amman, this beautiful place. Well, not far away from Amman. <laughs> Over the past couple of months, our, our highly enthusiastic team have dedicated their time towards the mission of Abshir, a mission that targets the Jordanian society in an aspect unaddressed before, an aspect that, or, that recognizes as well as respects the vital role of elderly citizens and youth in the Jordanian community. 
We hope that Upshur will prove to be an open forum for the youth and older, and older citizens to bridge the gap and exchange ideas. Due to the lack of resources and time, because we're all college students, working college students, we were, able to, we were able to implement one project in which we introduced the idea of adopting grandparents to basic, to, in an attempt to bridge the gap. The name is Kan Shabushab. I know this doesn't make any sense to you, but it really sounds awesome in Arabic. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, the project was, was conducted last summer in August. We managed, to get, uh, we managed to approach a couple of nursing homes. We were kicked out so many times because it is a pretty sensitive issue in Jordan to basically have your parent go in and live in a, in a nursing home. So we, eventually, we, uh, one, one, of the nurse, one of the nursing homes accepted our, uh, well, they, they, they welcomed our idea. And so we were able to basically get 30, 30 college students together with 20 senior citizens and provided them with the, envi with the environment to interact and just learn from each other in an attempt to bridge, the, to bridge the gap, basically. As you can see, some of the people with inspiring stories from, from, our, uh, from, from our event last summer, each one was just an amazing, amazing story. How you can help. <laughs> you, can, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and start inspiring others by your story, by sharing your story today. We do not have a YouTube channel. This is why you can start by liking our page on Facebook. Or for those of you obsessed with Twitter, I'm not. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter. I know my roommate is. Uh, <laughs> It's just that people, will all, people may not remember what you say, but they will always remember how you make them feel. This is why I would like to end my story today by summing up my grandfather's stories by quoting a friend of mine. We fail when we settle for a job instead of a career. We fail, we, we fail when we become partners and not lovers. We will fail if we settle for a house instead of a home. We will fail if we settle for being a parent instead of an architect of life. Don't be static. Live your life dynamically and be the change. Shukran. <laughs>